being the Walkers podcast, sitting here at Walkers, we've had some, some great fishing stories about Walkers. Let's talk more about what's going on here at Walkers. The marina is complete. The marina is done. I know there's supposed to be some villas along the way here soon. Yes, we're very close to 16 cottages. There'll be little duplexes uh, that are hoping to be here. doesn't mean they're going to be open, but but uh, uh, delivered here in January. Okay. And, uh, you know, they're prefab over in Stewart you know, over on the canal there. And it's going to be <laughs> interesting, and we'll probably put some press out when it happens. But uh, to see these cottages coming out the St. Lucie Inlet on a, on a barge <laughs> yeah. uh, will probably draw some attention over there. I'll go check it out on the CV. <laughs> yes, for sure. So, But, yeah, that uh, will be the first step. And then, of course, you know, our, our big thing, which is happening right now, is a utility building where um, I'm getting rid of diesel only for backup. We have two big natural gas generators come in LNG um, that virtually eliminate emissions and, and noise and, and eventually the cost is much cheaper for gas than diesel. Um, and then that will support the cottages. Um, one thing I want people to know, because I get this question all the time, is about center consoles, is, is you know, I've said from the beginning, I'm building this place for, for all parties, and the whole north wall of the marina is dedicated to nothing but, but center console guys. On top of that, they're going to have a restaurant and a bar very close to them up the hill there. We're building a very modern, clean, uh, bright uh, laundry, bathroom, and shower facility that I think the center console guys are, are really going to enjoy that. And then, you know, these cottages, during the season, they'll be a little pricey. Um, you know, but we figure some of these guys with million-dollar center consoles can afford a, a night in one of our cottages. However, uh, we are considering, you know, building um, more basic housing, uh, more basic structure down on the west side of the island that, you know, we're kind of maybe be called something like Center Con Console Village, which will be nothing fancy. It'll be a clean little room with air conditioning, maybe a little kitchenette, um, you know, some amenities down there. Uh, you, you still get to use all that we have at the, at the marina, but a little bit separate and quite a bit cheaper than, than the cottages. Yeah, so. that'll be nice. And, <clears throat> you know, we do, I'd say we do the majority of our fishing on our center console, our 39 CV. And really, to me, that's the best boat to have around here. You can go conking, lobster, and get shallow enough. You're on the bank fishing the wrecks. And you can still get offshore and chase the marlin and tuna, the deep drop. Yeah. So really, this is the perfect place to come with your center console, 100 miles from Stewart. I mean, some of these guys, you're here in two hours. Less than that on a calm day. Come from Friday to, you know, come back Sunday. You yeah. know, that's an easy trip. So yeah, I mean, especially if you got good weather. I mean, you know, it's a hundred miles buoy to buoy. I think in Stewart. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And you know, so that's on some of these boats today. That's that's nothing. Yeah. And then of course, you know, they they got stuff to do. There's the Mantatillo Shoals there. They can fish there. Yeah, the diving, diving. spear fishing is incredible. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, you know, once they get here, we'll have. You know, gasoline for them, which is which is big. Two of two of our tanks are dedicated to gasoline. We're gonna have a you know a nice general store here, as I said, the restaurant and the bar. Yeah. Uh, a, a beach that you know have some of the stuff for kids to do. But but when you look at Walkers, you know, Walkers doesn't need amenities. Walkers yeah. is the amenity. You yeah. Know? And so, what I'm trying to do, at least initially in phase one, is to provide basic, nice services uh, from center consoles all the way to to super yachts. Yeah. I mean, that's really all people want, because if you're coming here, you're going to spend the day on the boat anyways. You want to be out there diving or fishing or, you know, hanging over at Double Breasted at the beach or even our beach here, you know. So there's plenty to do out on the water. You're not going to be wanting to sit around anyways. So I mean, you, don't, you don't come you don't come to Walkers, though. To, it's not really a place, that, you know, you want to just, I mean, you can relax and hang out here, but you, you, it's, you come here for the fishing. Yeah, you're going to miss out on the fishing and the diving. I mean, you and, don't have to go far. It's not like it's a, yeah. a two-hour trip to go. You go a half well, hour somewhere I mean, on the other bank. Other than my walks in the morning, you and you guys and I, we're usually out of here in the afternoon doing something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't I mean, have to go far at all. Everything's every day, close. Yeah. I mean, uh, if the weather's good, you know, and you can hit some of these far spots, I mean, we found that airplane down here, what is it, about 29 miles. Yeah, yep. On a good day, you can be down there in less than an hour. And oh, there's fish all the over fish it. Fish are everywhere <laughs> down there. And very, you know, no pressure whatsoever. And so, so yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think people are looking forward to the restaurant bar. I know I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I, I sort of come from the food service business. It was our biggest market was restaurants. So, you know, I, I know that business quite well. And, and the, the, the key is that we're going to have not a 
a huge menu. We're going to keep the menu fairly simple. We'll have a special, but it's going to be good, solid food and really good service. Service yeah. is, is a big thing to me. I think that, you know, when you come here, you're the customer, and we will try our best to take care of you. And it's a, you know, owner-operated, uh, family-operated island and got a great staff and a great great crew that, that pulls that off. And phase two, there'll be a little bit more coming. But, you know, as we've owned the island, it's so many people tell me, especially when we did the tournament, is, oh, Mr. Allen, don't do too, don't do too much, you know. Yeah. And that's that really hit me. And so certain things we are not going to do. Yeah. We're going to keep it fairly <clears throat> kind of simple. Yeah. The island right now, as you all well know, is sort of in its natural state. And yeah. It's, uh, you know, our challenge is to balance the environment with bringing it back. And I think I've got some great ideas sort of coming from the industry. Yeah. From, you know, the natural gas to the way we're going to handle our trash. Um, you know, to the way we do water, uh, it you know, it's all uh, trying to make a model, a microcosm of what I believe you can do all over the bombs. Yeah, you're trying to be the most <clears throat> zero emission as possible and clean island and what I see, you know, we're definitely going to do that and be a model, hopefully, for the rest of the Bahamas to to see that and kind of push that way. Well, I think what's really important is we're spending a lot of money on this is a whole water treatment plan yep. so that absolutely zero phosphorus will leave this island because I think the general consensus in the Keys is that's what's devastated the Keys is the phosphorus coming off the land. Yeah, the reef there, and yeah. And the reef. And as you guys well know, this is still pristine out here and, and uh, you know, we're... It's like untouched. It's way. alive. You know, we're here to <laughs> when you're surfing out there, it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It sure yeah. is.